This year we've embarked on a major project. We're making a feature documentary with Ken Smith. This is a story that just has to be told. Ken Smith has raced for 59 consecutive seasons. He's 75 years old. He's raced pretty much anything you can think of. And he's still fast and races some of the quickest cars you'll see in New Zealand. Winning is good. I mean, everybody wants to win a race, but uh, at the end of the day, it's so nice to be out there dicing with someone. And like I've always said, if I come in third, fourth, and you're having a hell of a battle with someone right to the line, it's like winning a race. He's helped out so many young guys in their careers. Well, we had a, um, Scott Dixon was one of the early ones. Um, then from Scott went to Brendan Hartley and his brother Nelson Hartley. We ran in Australia and Formula Holden for a couple of years. Uh, Daniel Gaunt went to America with him. You know, Greg Murphy in the early days, we put him in a car when he was 17, an Atlantic car, gave him one of those to have a run at a Rolt, and that you know, showed how good he was. And, Joel picked him up for sponsorship in those days for him to carry on a bit further and Shane Van Gisbergen with the help of Ross and Jimmy Stone who are great mates of mine. Um, I introduced him there and said this kid wants to drive uh, the eights. But it's like winning lotto sometimes. If I could win at lotto as many times I'd pick the right driver I'd be right wouldn't I? This year he's been invited to Le Mans by both world endurance champion Brendan Hartley and IndyCar driver Scott Dixon who's running there this year. So we need to be there to tell that story. The other great thing about Ken is he's just so good on camera. We put up a small piece of an interview with him on Facebook. There isn't a reason. Um, well, I suppose there is, I'd say, because I love it so much. That's it. But is that a good enough reason, you know? It's not, I don't do it because I have to do it. Um, I do it because I want to do it. There's nothing else in life I could think about doing. And as long as I'm breathing and can climb in and out of a car, I'll keep going. I mean, the age doesn't really matter. It's, you can't take the age back, unfortunately, but you know, over the years the reaction time's as good now as it ever was. And I think because we're running every year it makes a difference. And if you sort of dropped off for five years and try to come back, you'd lose that nerve to get in tight on people with wheel to wheel. But I don't worry about people that want to race tight. If they want to race tight and play a game, I'll play one back. So you never give in because if you give in, your class is weak and you can push people around that way. And I don't want to be one of them. And within two weeks, it had 45,000 views and 150 shares. So that tells us there's an audience for this story. My vision for this is to be able to make something world class that can play in cinemas, at documentary festivals around the world. In order to do that, we're going to need your help. We need to be able to access footage such as AP's catalogue from the 1970s where Ken won Grand Prix of Penang. And to be able to put in the effort that it's going to take to make a 90-minute feature documentary. With your help, we can make this happen. Well, because we raced in the days when, like, we had Hill and Clark and Stuart and Amon and McLaren and all those guys, it was great to race them. You respected every one of them because they were great people. And Jimmy Clark was always a good favourite, you know. He was a very friendly guy. People say, how come you didn't go to Europe? Well, we didn't go and I was happy what I was doing here. Uh, I'm still alive, so maybe it, you mightn't have been if you'd gone over there and because, you know, cars were dangerous in those early days, but you couldn't see that because there was nothing better, so that seemed to be the thing, didn't it? 